Hey guys, it's Truth Today. Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about how to get a sponsorship as a small growing YouTube channel. Now I'm currently sponsored with No Scope. Today I want to share with you my four step process that I've used to get every sponsorship that I have on this channel and all my other channels as well as my French channels. But first we have to f figure out the difference between a sponsorship, a partnership, and an affiliate. Now most of you guys probably understand what I'm talking about, but many people think a sponsorship and affiliate are the same thing, but they're not. A sponsorship is when a company such as Razor sends you a product and you promote their product. And then an affiliate is when you promote their product and the company gives you a link such as like my no scope link in the description that says that gives you like a 10% discount and maybe they'll give you like 5% of the revenue that's made from it or something, something like that. And then a partnership is when a company such as Machino makes a contract with you that allows you to make money from the ads on your video and they get part of the revenue that you make. Now, the first step is to have your foot already into the door of YouTube. This is very important because you can't ask for a sponsorship if you don't have any subs, any videos, or pretty much anything on your channel. Number two, you're gonna have to have high quality content. Now, I feel a lot of people say this, but they don't actually explain what they mean. What I mean is that if you're playing on PC, you're using a nice recording, uh, recording software such as DX Story, Fraps, or something that records in HD. And then if you're recording on console, you have a capture card such as an Elgato, a Roxy HD, I think as you say it, but uh, something that records in HD. As well, you're going to have to have a high quality microphone. The I microphone that I would recommend and I use is the Blue Snowball. Now, another thing that most people do not mention is that you have to have some sort of topic to talk about in your commentary. You can't just ramble on about something that nobody cares about. For example, nobody gives a shit about what you had for dinner. I'm sorry, bloggers. Well, actually, the bloggers are okay to do that. But uh, if you're making a game commentary, you, you don't want to talk about what you had for dinner because nobody cares. Next thing you don't really have to do, but companies really do love it, and that is be social. What I mean is that you have a Facebook, a Twitter, a Twitch, and you post often on those. So companies really like that because they understand that you're going to post your link to their website on all your posts. Not all your posts, but a lot of your posts. And that would get you a lot more exposure. Well, the company a lot more exposure, sorry. Now, last, so just send an email. An email never killed anybody. It can't hurt you. It can't hurt the company. And... As you can see on screen, or you should be able to see on screen, I have my sample letter that I use for every email that I send to another company, and every partnership I send to also. But uh, I always start off by saying, hello, my name is Joey Cottingham. Use your real name. No, don't say, hello, my name is Truth, because it's not as personal as saying your real name. Now, my name is Joey Cottingham, aka Truth, and then I have a link to my channel there. I tell about myself, like I say what games I play, what console I play, and what kind of videos I create. I say I, do, I focus on becoming bigger and make my videos better, so they understand that you want to make your videos better. Then say, I believe I can help you. The important thing here is to make sure that you tell them how you can help them, not how they can help you. I then tell them how many video views I have, how many views I have per day, how many subscribers I have. And then I go into saying how I can help them by saying, I'll advertise to my fan base. I'll use your product in my banners and intro. Next, you need to kiss up to the product right before you go out. So say, I hope you consider my offer. I truly love your products and they help improve my game. I would love being sponsored with whatever company, no scope, and will enjoy hearing back from you. Sincerely, Joey Cottingham. Now let's go over the tips and tricks that I would use and you should use to help you get in. Number one, do not spam. No spamming. No. Bad spamming. If you spam them, they're not going to respond. If you send more than two emails a day, they're not going to respond. I would say send one email twice a One email, not twice a week. One email every two weeks. And that's a pretty good, pretty good input difference. And so you probably gain some subscribers next time you send it. Number two. Two is to sound as professional and mature as possible. As you can see in the email, I try to sound as mature as possible. Because they don't know how old you are, so you want to sound as mature and as old as possible. And last is again, just send an email. It's as easy as that. Now I'm going to go over the different companies that will sponsor you as a small YouTube channel. Number one, NoScope, and this is the easiest one to get sponsored with because they start you out as affiliate and then as you sell stuff through your link, then you get 
money as well, but you also get, uh, you also go towards sponsorship. Evil controllers, clinch gaming, control fleeks, and ga gamma labs, and uh, gamtias. I don't know how exactly to say that. And intensifier. All the links to their websites in the description. So make sure you go check them out. I recommend sending as many emails as possible that sound sound good. Right? So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry I'm posted in the last couple of days, but uh, I'm back now. Bye.